Oh, 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 oh. I need a battle angel. Probably the final trailer, maybe. Yeah. So it shows quite a bit of the movie. She's threatening the natural order of things. Tonight is not a game. It is a hunt. I need you to destroy a girl called Alita. I've had very mixed feelings about this whole project. I never watched the 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 uh, the original Japanese uh, animes or read the manga. I, I I don't know much about Alita in itself. Neither do I. No. Um, I was immediately when I first saw I was turned off by the 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 design of the sort of huge japanese eyed uh, main character mm. it just it just it I don't know if it's it's probably partly done on purpose that you f sort of feel estranged mm. from the main characters because she's obviously estranged from the rest of the world and mm. there has to be that gap. And I'm just an insignificant girl. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. But in terms of a character that you want to identify with, mm. then that doesn't help no. for me. Mm. And I know that Cameron, Cameron's the guy, kind of guy who basically seems to be able to do no wrong in a lot mm. of ways, especially when he's directing, but also as a producer that he, he has this knack of realizing even the, even the movies that he's made that I don't like, mm. I can't really say that they're badly made. Mm. Um, but then Robert Rodriguez is another story because I, I really like Robert Rodriguez's early work mm. with, the, with the Mariachi trilogy. Well, Mostly Desperado. I think Desperado is a really, really good action movie. But he's done a lot of sh real shit as well. Yeah. So the combination is... It's... I can't really predict what's going to happen. But I, I, especially with the previous trailers, I wasn't that impressed. Or uh, it mm. seemed... I, I sort of was cautious about the yeah. whole thing. It's, um, I sort of like the idea of um, having, like the name Battle Angel, is sort of a cool name for something because it, uh, I think everybody has read a little bit about, you know, these warrior angels and shit like that. So it's a cool idea in a way that you could create via technology something that is, well, basically as efficient as a weapon as an angel would be so i like that idea but it looks like it's it looks sort of sort of um i think i would like it if i was a teenager yeah yeah me too and it has this for some reason i get i get uh another movie which i haven't seen but it's supposed to be utterly awful mm. uh jupiter ascending it is utterly awful yeah I, I, I just for some reason, that's the first thing that comes yeah, into my mind when it, I saw yeah. when that I a saw scary that. comparison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even though that it it had some interesting ideas, but man, it's a weird movie. Yeah, um, yeah, it's good that the Wachowskis are no, nowhere near this because yeah. because they've they've really they've let themselves go. <laughs> but but uh, but. Uh, um, it's also a problem with me that I haven't really, I, I'm, I'm struggling to remember a really good film that Christoph Waltz has been in since Inglorious Bastards. I mean, he's, mm. because he's been in really some real turkeys, like yeah. The Green Hornet was just mm. awful, I awful. I better watch it till the end. Yeah. Stop midway through, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's a good point. Oh, uh, one good movie that he's is is, is Roman Polanski's uh, Carnage, where mm, yeah, that, that was excellent. That, yeah. That's a really really good movie. Um, so I take that back. But but in terms of this, I 
another thing that sort of came into my mind was uh, was it called Tomorrowland or was it, what was it with George Clooney, which was also yeah, sort of a, it yeah, sort yeah. of built around a relationship of an uh, 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 an older mm. man and a young girl, mm. and then sci-fi, and then it all goes a bit ape shit yeah. in the end because they can't really hold it together. Mm. I also have a personal um, connection to Battle Angel because I, 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 one of my hobbies is tunnel flying, mm. and and I have a coach who was, or is, um, one of the stunt performers in this movie. Mm. That's really cool. Yeah. So they didn't. Uh, they, they, instead of doing wire work, mm. uh, they did a lot of the stunts apparently in the wind tunnel where you can actually like fly. Cool. Uh, with the with the wind, and then yeah. they just green screened it and mm. then transferred it into into film, uh, and, and that's a really really it's a very very difficult thing to do, but mm. it, I, I'm sure that it creates some spectacular stunts. Although nowadays it's it's a problem because a lot of the stuff has been so well done on CGI, especially in camera movies, that mm. you don't really know what's practical anymore. That's true. But I'm hoping that some of that practical stuff will 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 be able to sort of be evident in the final mm. product. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you watch something like Avatar, you don't really know what's, in a way, mm. you know from some of the things that these are obviously computer effects, mm. mostly because you know that that's, this is impossible to do without mm. CGI. Yeah. But, um, but especially in, in Cameron's movies, like Titanic when it came mm. out, there was a lot of stuff that you don't really actually know yeah. if this was a rig that they built or if this is just computer mm. generated. Uh, unfortunately, still to the trained eye, and I have a fairly, fairly trained eye with CGI, mm. you tend to know, you know, you yeah. can still see in a lot of movies, you yeah. can see that this is not, this, this, is, this is just bits. It's going to be people. interesting to see what Cameron does with Avatar 2 when it comes out. Yeah, yeah. And and, and 3 and 4 and yes. 6 and 7. Yes. <laughs> and <two It's> hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit wary. I'm yeah. a bit wary. But we'll see. Um, the, the word was, I think, in the beginning that, that it, this, this had the early screenings of ba Battle Angel mm. Elite had been so badly re re received that that they w they were just gonna maybe not release it at all, or oh. they or maybe obviously they had to release mm. it because it costs so much money. But it it was predicted to be such a flop that maybe they've gone back and re-edited it or something like that yeah. based on those. But I, I heard that the previews were really really bad. But you basically see what the movie is about. There, there's this girl. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't know who she is? Oh, it turns out you're a battle angel, and then some ga bad guys with a lot of cyborgs attack her, and there's some sort of um, Allah Ali again. Yeah, 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 and people yes. are happy that they now have a champion. Yes, yeah, it's a tale as old as time. Quite right, quite right indeed.